Hey guys, it is Vivids and welcome to episode 1 of The Reaper. Yes, that is right, we are doing another series for you guys on YouTube. Um, now, if you guys are familiar with my other series, it's just, it was called Dry Bank to Dry Goals, where I basically started with nothing and worked my way up to achieving dual dry goals. I made about 109 mil during the series, and it was a lot of fun. You guys seem to like that a lot. So I'm going to be doing another series, and it's called The Reaper. And it's just for obvious reason. Now, if I go, I'm, I'm not actually sure how to do it, so I'm not even going to attempt it, but... If you want to earn the title The Reaper, you have to kill every single boss in this game. Um, just to list a few, there's Nex, Rise of the Six, Virago, there's Araxor, um, Hurricane, like Jad, and all the other bosses in the game. Now, what I'm going to be doing for you guys is a little bit of a bigger series than my other one, because I thought the uh, the Dry Bank to Drago series was kind of a small series. I just wanted to show you guys basically how to make 100 mil within about two weeks or so. And you guys seem to catch on to that. And you guys seem to really enjoy that. So I was like, you know, why not, why not do another series for you guys? And I wanted to do something a little bit bigger for you guys. Now the series are... Now the rules are going to be a little bit more strict. Um, they're going to be not so much... Um, like for me, for example, a really good example is it's not going to be like earn 2 million dungeoneering experience and then I can use a chaotic. What I'm going to be doing is after this clip is going to the demon, the demon I'm trader and just using up all my tokens so I have none. And I'm also going to just fix all my other chaotics and stuff. But I'm going to have to buy my own chaotics. Now what I'm going to do is, okay, scratch that. I'm just going to go to the chaotix trader and then I'm just going to spend all my tokens. And I think I'm just going to drop all of my uh, chaotics. Now the thing with this game is it is very entertaining when you're a high level. Uh, for a little while. Now, what I mean by that is, I've got a lot of the best gear. Um, I don't have the best gear, but I have a lot of, you know, the really, really high-level gear. And there really is no incentive for me to log in this game and go kill a Raxor, um, even though I don't know how to kill a Raxor. But there really isn't, there really isn't an, an incentive to go and kill a Raxor. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, I want, I want to do something in the game that, um, that makes me want to jump on RuneScape in the morning, do maybe a farm run, do my player own ports, do my potion flasks, just something that will make me a little bit of money working towards the goal that I've set myself. Now, with with having all of, I guess, almost the best gear, or I don't have, like, seismics, um, and I don't have, like, the noxious weapons and stuff, but I don't really care that I don't have those. I want, I want to do something in this game where, basically, I log in in the morning, do something throughout the day, and I have a goal that I'm working towards, you know, the entire time. And I think the Reaper series will be a really, really good demonstration of that, you know. If I've got a massive goal to work towards, achieving the goal will be absolutely massive. And I think, you know, the feeling from achieving the goal will be absolutely great. And I think setting setting goals and achieving them is one of the best things you can do in life. So I think, um, I guess it's all essentially a life lesson as well as just something to do with me in the game. Um, and it gives me a reason to log on and make content for you guys. So hopefully you guys are going to do the series. Let's get cracking with some crazy shenanigans like we did in the last series. Now, in the last series... The Driving to Drago series, if you don't know what I mean by the last series, um, feel free to check that out in the description as well. But um, some of the shenanigans that went on in the last series was, I think I just dropped a few of my pouches, um, and I also dropped my Wicked my wicked Mask. It, no, it's not the Wicked Mask, it's the... Oh, God. The Witch Doctor Mask, and... As you can see, I still don't have it, so even from the other series, I haven't gone and bothered to purchase it. But seeing as we're here, we may as well, for the second series, we, we may as well get rid of the Witch Doctor robes. And I'm going to be keeping all of my my 99 capes in my bank, because that's just for... It's got nothing to, to do with the series, I just wanted that to, um, you know, just as some nostalgia. So, first things first, I'm a realist, let's get rid of all of these, um, all of these daily stuff, because we're going to be doing some of these dailies um, during the series. And we're going to be um, not doing some of the dailies. And I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with the Yakai's. Maybe with the Battle Starves. I don't even know yet. We're, we're going to see. We're going to see for the series because some of the prices have changed and some things aren't worth doing anymore. I'm sorry, Juju teleport bags. You're going to have to go. I'm probably not even going to use these uh, sticks or anything like that. But I'm just going to get rid of all of my um, all of my gear from what's it called the tasks thing. Where things first? I'm a realist. There goes my death runes. I'm going to sell my armor to runes I don't use this anyway. Law runes, goodbye. So I thought coming to the Lumbridge Graveyard was a perfect spot to dispose of all of my items. These items are going to include the Kiln Cape. I'm sorry, my friend. The... Oh, look at that. It even glows on the ground. Too bad it's going to be gone in a second. But we've got the Fire Cape. May as well put them on the ground for some glowy effects. Goodbye, Fire Capes, my friends. Oh, I'm going to have to... I don't know where the uh, Kiln Cape went. Um... Well, I guess it's gone already. There goes the fire cape. 
My witch doctor robes are going to be on the floor as well. My... Where's my heart? There it is. I dropped that. Never mind. All right. So there we are. The All the capes are on the ground. Now it's time to get rid of my chaotix. Far for real. There goes the chaotic longsword. There goes the other chaotic longsword. And let's do a little fast forward of the disposal of this chaotic, shall we? So there goes my juju farming potions. I am sorry. Now let's just withdraw all of this 50 mil and let's drop it on the ground, shall we? There we are. I wish to drop it. There goes 50 mil worth of garbage plant coming. But for the rest, we've got four fire capes on the ground. The tockle, the tockle cow, what? Something. The kiln cape, the woods doctor robes, my juju farming potions, my juju hunter potions. Everything is going, I guess, down the drain or in the graveyard. Um, and just to make sure that these items are gone. Mr. Ward Trader, my friend, I'm going to have to shop with you. I have 1.6 million Dungeoneering tokens. I thought I only had like 800k. Oh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's because of the, um, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, do I want to spend 500k on Blink? Hmm. So I've decided I'm going to buy the mini Blink because he is awesome. I can get 500k experience in a day or so. Um, so I'm going to probably buy the Frost Dragon as well. I do like the look of the Frost Dragon. Um, and I'm also going to spend the rest. And I'm just going to spend the rest on um, Dungeoneering experience so I don't have to do um, any more Dungeoneering, I guess. Can I do 900k? Oh, look at that. Nine, that's a quick way to get 900k Dungeoneering experience. Now, 1832. So there goes my Dungeoneering tokens, the zero Dungeoneering tokens. And just to prove to you guys that I don't have any Chaotix, I'm just going to quickly go to my bank. <coughs> but if I look up Chaotix, no Chaotix there. There we are, no Chaotix there. We've also got Eagle Eye, no Eagle Eye. Um, the Chaotic Kite Shield, don't have that. We also don't have the Farseer. Kite shield, everything's gone, all of the characters are gone. I'm probably not gonna not even gonna use the bone crusher or the charming imp, so I'm not even gonna bother with those. Um but I'm I'm not gonna show you guys um, the process of me removing everything else from my bank because it's just a waste of time. I thought I'd just show you guys the interesting stuff, but I guess let's got it let's get started with the series. And I think it's worth noting that I'm not going to delete or remove all of my auras and then buy them back with loyalty points because I believe that um, buying all you need for the auras are the loyalty points. So that's how long you've been a member for. Um, it's got to do with subscription as opposed to in-game hours, I guess, like that. You could, you know, you you could disagree with me, but I think auras are a. Um, I don't think it's necessary to get rid of all of my auras for the series because it's got thing. It's it's got nothing to do with really in-game hours working towards auras. It's just got to do with subscription and membership. So I really don't think that it's worth um, destroying my auras. So I'm going to keep those nice and safe in the bank through the entirety of the series. <laughs> <laughs> 